Hello, my name is Shane, and today we're going to be demonstrating how you can integrate Cradix with Backstage. Cradix is a Kubernetes native platform framework designed to run on Kubernetes, but versatile enough to deploy resources anywhere, for example, AWS or Azure, uh, using tools such as Terraform or Pulumi. Uh, here you can see our Backstage instance with an empty catalog and no components. And if I take it to the command line, you can see here we've got a two clusters. So for today's example, I'll be using two local Kubernetes clusters running on kind. Uh, we have a platform cluster that's running Cradix and it's where promises will be installed. So as a platform engineer, I'll install my promises in the platform cluster. And we also have a worker cluster. This is where workloads will run. As an application engineer, I'll request a promise instance and it will be deployed to the worker cluster. But as I said before, you can deploy resources anywhere with Cradix. So today we're going to be deploying a Jenkins promise. Uh, when we apply it, Jenkins will be provided as a service on the platform cluster. So let's take a look inside this promise. Here, we are, here are the arguments we want our application developers to supply when requesting a Jenkins instance. So you can see here the environment variable. Um, it's defaulted to dev. It's of type string. And it, it expects um, under this enumerator either a dev or production to be selected. And then we've got a plugins argument. And this is uh, an array of objects taking in the name and version of the list of plugins you want to install on Jenkins. So these would be the arguments that you would um, provide to your application engineers who want to request an instance of Jenkins. So let's apply this promise. Now, we should see our Jenkins uh, promise now starting to be installed onto the uh, platform cluster. And if we take a look in backstage, we can now see our Jenkins promises installed. Now let's create an instance of Jenkins. You can create a Jenkins instance using the CLI with kubectl or through the Backstage UI. Let's do this with Backstage today. So I click into my Jenkins promise. I can see some details here. Let's create a Jenkins. Let's have the name Awesome Jenkins. And the namespace will be the default namespace in Kubernetes. Let's select an environment. For this, we'll select Dev. And for plugins, we won't add any plugins for this demo. And let's hit Create. And so now Craddock should have received this request, um, and the pipeline to create that Jenkins instance will have started. Yeah. Now we can see here that our Jenkins dev awesome Jenkins within the Craddock's worker cluster has kicked off and is running. So if we go back to Backstage, we can now see our awesome Jenkins Jenkins um, resource. So if we click into the awesome Jenkins Jenkins resource, we can see some more details about it. More information can be populated if you want that. And if we go back to our terminal and take a look at the pods command again, um, yep, we can see our uh, Jenkins dev awesome Jenkins is still running. Uh, let's connect into it now. So if I do some port forwarding into Jenkins Dev Awesome Jenkins here. Okay, that's been established. And if I go to localhost 8080, we can now see our Jenkins instances installed. So this is just a very simple demo of what you can do with Cradix and Backstage. This integration can handle much more complex scenarios and can show much more interesting data. And we just wanted to give it a simple example for today. Um, but if you do want to learn more about what Cradix uh, can do with Backstage, then just reach out to us. Thank you for watching.